don't think this has ever really been done before, but we use the K-pop methodology. We can tap into like our fierceness. Just go for it, you're not gonna break the mic like he told yeah. Sophia. That's like one thing that's gonna <laughs> stick with me forever. Hey, it's Cat's Eye, and this is Billboard News. Give it up for your new global girl group, Cat's Eye! Attention with Billboard News, and this is a debut. I'm here with Cat's Eye. Hey. What's up? Oh my God! So the last time I was with you guys was at Dream Academy, yes. announcing the group, <laughs> and you finally arrived. So how you feeling? It's actually crazy. This is such a full circle moment. Yeah. Like the last time we saw you, we were literally bawling on stage. And we were like, <laughs> You're, you made the group, you made the group, you made the group. And here is the group. So you have your EP coming out, Sis, and I love the title, I gotta say. So oh, tell me you. what the title means and how excited are you to put it out? So Sis is soft as strong, and I think the whole EP itself is like amazing, I'm I'm so excited for everybody to hear it. Each song has a different story, and I hope that our fans and icons can find themselves in each song. The EP just shows a lot of our duality, like soft and strong. And I mean, I gotta say, naming the first song debut, <laughs> that was good. <laughs> it's like, you that was good. What we did there. I see what you <laughs> did there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and how was that yeah. song? How did, was creating that? And why was that the first one you wanted to introduce to the world? Oh my God, girl. I mean, that song was like, when we first heard it, we were literally all gagged because it was so fierce. The production is incredible. And we were like, oh my God, it really feels like it's coming from us. And like, it represents us and where we are right now. So yeah, and I mean, we got to work with Ryan Tedder, who's oh, literally talk about that. for that being our first song to work with such an icon in the music industry and someone who's so experienced was like, we were all so grateful and we got to record with him and he gave us the best pep talks before. He was like, just embrace yourself, like go for it and just like, don't be afraid, like just, just go for it. You're not gonna break the mic like he told yeah, Sophia. That's like one thing that's gonna <laughs> stick with me forever because Wait, I was break going. Break the mic. Why like he was like break the mic. recording that chorus. <laughs> when I was recording that chorus, he was like, Sophia, I need you to just go. Like you're not gonna like, like just scream. Like you're not gonna break the mic. Like don't be afraid. Like just go. And I fully like went into this whole like parallel universe because of yeah. Brian. It was crazy. Yeah, I feel I'll like never he, forget. he really was able to bring out the best in us. And yeah, I mean, we all just kind of come alive in the studio. So it was such a good experience. And the second single, Touch, it's a bop. So mm -hmm. tell me all about Touch. It's such a beautiful song. We all love it. And the song itself, it is like our softer side. And like, it, it kind of like shows like complexity, like of love, you know, and filming the whole music video too was such an amazing experience and like recording as well. It is ethereal. It is like I said, like our softer side, but it's also like we can tap into like our fierceness and like our self-confidence too. And I mean, I've been watching the fierceness online. You guys <laughs> constantly and consistently deliver. But tell me, okay, so I watched you guys kind of go through that process and watched you grow, but then you have to like mix it all together and make a sound. That can't be easy. So tell me how you guys found the cat's eye sound. I feel like this, our sound is something that was developed like individually from the six of us. I feel like our beautiful team really pulled a lot from our own personal experiences, our own personal personalities, and just our whole story that is gonna be on our docu-series, Popstar Academy Cat's Eye, that people get to check out. Our sound is something that we wanna grow and really- Like evolve. Yeah, evolve yes. together and sort of bring the best cat's eye that we can to the world. And then talk to me about like mixing the different cultures because obviously you guys have come from so many different backgrounds. So is that something that you're thinking about as well as you're creating these songs? Yeah, I think we all like individually like to add our own like cultural heritage. Personally for me, I love to add like my little like Latina like roots. Um, but I think it is important since we are a global girl group. And I do want to talk to you guys about this because this is a question I feel like a lot of consumers are going to have. They're like, okay, is this a K-pop group? Wait, it's a global girl group. So how do you explain that? How would you feel like you would tell somebody, yes, we are K-pop or we're not? People that created BTS have this vision to take the K 
chaotic K-pop and make it global. I don't think this has ever really been done before, but we use the K-pop methodology to like form our group, right? So we were trained in a K-pop way, but we are not a K-pop group, we're a global girl group. However, we've learned so much from like the K-pop side and like we're so inspired by that, but yeah, we are a global girl group. <laughs> but there's some things I gotta make sure you guys are gonna have. Are there gonna be light sticks? I hope so. I hope so. I need a light stick. Okay, where's my cat's eye light stick, right? I absolutely need to have absolutely. it. <laughs> and a lot of viewers at home might not know about the K-pop training process, the methodology you're talking about. So tell me how it was to go through that and what you learned from it and what you feel like you've taken into Cat's Eye. It was an amazing experience. It was obviously like a lot. We had training like eight hours every single day, like in the morning and then we would go home like at night and then just restart the next day. We took a bunch of different types of classes and I learned things about myself that I never knew. Um, personally, one of the things that I just learned about myself is to just keep going and never quit. Like obviously, like obviously like always push yourself and don't be too hard on yourself too. Like, cause sometimes I feel like I can be a perfectionist, but it was a great learning experience. I got to meet so many like beautiful, talented girls and it was a long process too. It was like about like two years of training, a year and a half yeah. of training. Wow. Every single day we were working so hard. It, it's, it sounds like it was really hard and it was, but I want to add on to that. Like, I think we all also learned that hard work really pays off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so, yeah, yeah, we're really, like, we got really disciplined mm -hmm. and, we like, oh, yeah. we're really hard workers now. Yeah. yeah. I think that it, like, unlocked something within all of us. Like, yeah. we, like, there was, like, that extra, like, reserve of, like, power and energy in us. And, like, the whole training process just kind of, showed us like how far we can go. Oh, I yeah. love that. Well, we're definitely seeing it and we're, everybody's gonna see it yes. on the Netflix documentary that you were <laughs> yes. talking about. Popstar Academy Cat's Eye. There yes. you go, she is so ready. <laughs> if I make the girl group, that's when my life starts. Now tell me about the, having the cameras there all the time and was that an extra, you know, like layer of like, I don't know, training and having cameras be there watching you? And sometimes it felt like the cameras like weren't even there, right? Like, Yeah, I feel like we barely like even noticed them at the end of the day. I feel like when we first started, it was kind of getting used to being like, oh, there's a camera right there. I gotta be a little, you know, you know a little bit, of a little bit extra, yeah. <laughs> but I think like throughout the time we kind of got used to it and I'm super excited to see that our love for each other and like that's something really special that we got to experience, especially with like the people that I'm here with today and the past contestants. We really just had such genuine love for each other and at the end of the day like this was a competition but we still like had so much you know, love for each other. And we supported each other through everything. And what's something that you're nervous or excited for people to see in the documentary? Maybe like our training process. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, and our improvement. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. No, they, they really got the improvement. Like, from all the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys, like, when you look at the early stuff, are you like, who is yeah. this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. We are all going to be reminded of who we were before yeah. the training began. It's going like, to be weird. Yeah. Like, like when we so sit weird. and watch it and like look at our past self, like, we, we really don't know what right. to do. Like, I'm, I'm so ready for this. I don't, I don't remember her that well. Exactly. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah it was a little, it's a blur. <laughs> like, personally, like, I'm excited but like scared at the same time because when I first joined, I was like 15, 16, and now I'm 18. <laughs> so, like, yeah. there was a you're, lot of you're phases. You're a whole different person now. A whole different yeah. person now. So, I'm excited to see what journey I went on. <laughs> okay, so now talk to me about living together. Ooh. So, last time I left off, you guys were just put together as the final group. So, then, like, did you go straight to a house? Like, how long was it? before you guys were all together working on everything? I think it was about um, like maybe two months and then we started moving in together and like getting used to each other's vibe. I think it was actually so much fun. Um, I, we all feel like such like a family and like sisters and I can always rely on them and like most of them are my big sisters and Ninche is my little sister. <laughs> so there's like obviously that kind of like dynamic and especially with us being a global girl group, we all have our own cultures. 
So being able to like share it with each other and experience it. Like one thing about Cat's Eye is that we love food. Okay. So yeah. we, we share each other's food and we just like introduce new things to each other every day and it's just such a blast. Yeah. Who's the bigger cook out of everybody? Oh, yeah. so they knew right away. Yeah. She's she always yeah. in the kitchen. Like all me and Sophia, but I feel like Sophia's a lot better, honestly. Like I'm always eating <laughs> your food. Like she's so good. She's a baker. She bakes spend more still. time in the kitchen than I do in the room. No, yeah. she <laughs> bakes. She bakes us these blondies. Yeah, that they're so like, good. Oh, oh, blondies? They're so oh, good. Like butterscotch blondies. Something like, about gooey. Sophia is that like yeah. she'd be like. Girls, I made something today. <laughs> yeah, she, she will always offer when you wish she had this made. <laughs> well, now I got to come over for yes, Bondi. Just do. letting you know that's yes. happening. It's happening. And when you guys are not cooking, what are you doing the most? To, to, to use your time, are you listening to the tracks you made in the studio? Are you writing? What's the process like? We're going to perform for the first time very soon, so we're working really hard every day in the studio. When we're at home, we just hang out and like stay up until 2 a.m. and chit chat. <laughs> <laughs> we don't get no sleep. Everybody's like, are y'all um, going to sleep yet? Y'all have to rehearse tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. We're still talking. Yeah. We find somehow. the energy somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah literally somehow. somehow. It's the adrenaline. Like, we were yeah. like each other's hype girls all the time. Like, we get into rehearsal, yeah. we're like, <laughs> and then we all just like, okay, good morning. Yeah. Yes. And I mean, you guys are really busy. So between creating an EP, a, de a Netflix documentary, and also performing, you were talking about KCON. So tell me how exciting is that going to be to perform at KCON? We've been working and training so hard for KCON and like everything. So yeah, we're so excited to perform together and on the stage. The yeah, and with the icons. For the first time. For the first, for the first time. Yeah. You didn't see this, but we were in the dressing room talking about all our favorite K-pop groups. So oh how are you going to feel being there performing in front of so many people that you have watched Whoa. and look up to? It's surreal. It's actually crazy to even think about because I'm sure we all started, we all have people we look up to and people we're inspired by. It's one of the big reasons why we're here today and that we want to do the same thing that they've made us like feel. Like we want to make people feel the same way that we feel when we see our favorite artists. So it's going to be really cool to be in the same space and be in that environment of all this, all these artists that we've been looking up to. It's, it's so surreal to think about. I'm so yeah. happy for you guys. We're going to be a little starstruck. <laughs> a little yeah. starstruck. Some of our like, yeah. favorite groups yeah. are going to be there. So it's just so exciting. I'm not going to tell you guys that, you know, one of us <laughs> shares a Jungwon bias and they have them on their cell phone. I'm not going to say who has it on their cell phone. Um, <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> and then who are you inspired by? Who is somebody you guys want to work with now that you're here in the industry? You guys were hanging out with Khalid earlier. You should have seen that. That was so oh cute. So yeah. who's somebody you guys want to collab and work with? There's so, so many. Many. So, many. So, many. so many. So many people. Ariana Grande, yes. Beyonce, Khalid. Oh. Khalid. Khalid. Beyonce. Pharrell. Yeah, Pharrell, Timbaland, like really cool producers. That'd be awesome. With Seraphim and Hypen. Yes. Charlie XCX. Oh, Charlie XCX. <laughs> it's a Brad Summer. We could go on and on and on and on. <laughs> and then also, you guys are going to be performing on Good Morning America. Oh my God. That's oh my wild. goodness. I just got goosebumps just now. So, like, how is that going to be to be, you know, premiere yourself on the national stage? So, we just feel so blessed and um, grateful for that opportunity. And um, yeah, we can't wait. What do you guys want people to see when they see a performance of Cat's Eye? Fierceness. Fierceness. Confidence. Sisterhood. 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 I think confidence. Like we want them to like feel like empowered mm -hmm. and hot and the best version of themselves. And I also think like we work so much to like get our performances and obviously there's so much more ways to go but like we're really proud of the work we've done and like the synchronization with our dancing and everything. We hope that people see that and that we just want to keep working, keep growing. And I mean, people are going to be learning from you about the Netflix documentary. They're going to learn from you on Good Morning America. As people learn more about Cat's Eye, what do you want them to feel? Inspired, I think, yeah. And I think we want them to feel like seen and like they can yeah. see themselves and like and each one of us. Each one of us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that makes me think, how have you felt about your fans? I know that's had to be so <laughs> cool to like grow this community and see them rooting for you online. A lot of times they come to my page and they're like, oh, Kat, I love you. Oh so I, just, I, I, I love the community you guys are building. How has that been? I think it's so fun that 
we get to go on Weverse anytime we want and kind of see all the icons on Weverse and we get to talk to them and then post something. It's so funny when we just say like one thing and they all come in and are like, Sophia, hey! And <laughs> we can literally ask for little things. So we'll be like, hey, like, do you guys have any like movie suggestions? And they will literally send everything. Like I have oh playlists. I have playlists saved actually by a lot of the fans when they recommend songs and I'll just, and they'll send up, they'll drop a playlist link and I'll like save it every time. And it's just so cool, it's so yeah. fun. And they're so creative. Like they do like <laughs> stuff like Icon Selfie Day oh where they yes. all like post their yes. selfies and they do all of these little yeah. things and like, yeah. We're just so grateful and like happy to have such, like so much love and support from these icons. Like our, our lovely icons, like Literally. we love you guys so much. Like the we wouldn't be here without y'all. <laughs> baddies. Yeah, baddies. 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 Love it. Well, I'm so happy for you guys. So proud of where you come. And ladies and gentlemen, Cat's Eye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much.